Don't be scared of it. Don't stop. Just hold her tight. Hold her tight against your shoulder. Yo! What up, guys, and welcome back to another one. Today has been a very requested video, and it's been something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and that is take the wife shooting. Now, a lot of you guys, when I ask for video requests, a lot of you are like, dude, you got to take Beth hunting. Well, she's just not the hunting type, and, and, and I've, I've kind of forced it on her before. I'm like, babe, come on, let's go get your hunter safety certificate so we can get you a license and everything, you know? But she's just not that type of gal. But she does enjoy shooting quite a bit and we actually need to go out to the little range and we need to sharpen up her shooting skills. Not only because it's what her husband does primarily and I want her to be a part of it, but for two, we need to, we need to sharpen up her home defense skills with a shotgun. You know where I'm getting at with that. We just need to make sure she knows how to operate any gun, you know, if there's a gun in reach in the house, if we, if it's a pistol, if it's a shotgun, we need to make sure she can chamber a shell, she can hit on target, just the whole nine yards. Come here, Fred, here. Oh, him a good boy. Look at him. Oh, he is just shaping up. He's almost back to normal, y'all. I mean, look at him. He's looking great. Y'all have been wanting Fred update videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed the last one. I know it wasn't much, but we can't be getting too crazy with Fred right now. We gotta let him, we gotta let him get better. I can tell when we start working him real hard and he starts running a bunch, he gets tired easy. Hey, thanks, Plane. He's such a good boy. We love him so much. He's doing great here at the house. And I really wanna say thank you to all you guys because there's literally a large majority of you guys that have really showed a lot of support for Fred. Not only my training for Fred, y'all have helped a ton, but also Fred's nutrition. And that's why he's looking so good. Yeah, boy, yeah! Rub my belly, Dad, rub my belly. If you guys have been around for the whole story, I got him from a subscriber whose name is Will from Tennessee. So thank you again, Will. I know he's watching. I know you're watching. But I already got all the guns loaded up. I think Mama is ready to roll. So that's, you know what that means. Let's get on the road. Let's go put some guns in Mama's hands. Let's get her pulling the old trigger. I want to get her used to guns way more than she already is. Oh, check it out. We're back at the little shooting range where we did all them shotgun safety videos. And we got the wife out here. Check her out. Isn't she just beautiful? She's always beautiful, no matter what she does. But first, we're going to start out with the pistol. I was like, babe, what do you want to shoot first? She was like, the handgun, because it's smaller. It's a little easier to handle, right? Yeah. Are you a little intimidated? Yeah. She's a nurse, guys. She's a nurse. She's not a shotgunner. You're not a hunter either, are you? No. You'll probably never it's shoot a bird. Opposite. Yeah. Tell them. Tell them, babe. Tell them. Probably won't kill any animals. I'm like the PETA of the relationship. <laughs> the PETA? Yeah. You're not PETA, babe. You just don't <laughs> want to kill animals. You don't have it in you, do you? No. But that's fine. She loves what I do. She respects what I do. And we do want to get her trained up with guns, and that's why we're here. Y'all want to see her hunt, but she'll probably be on the hunts, you know, taking photos or helping me film or something, but killing stuff, not going to happen. So today, what are we doing? We're going to start with the Glock 9. Here you go. Go ahead and give that a hold. Don't point it at me, please. This ain't oh, your first this. rodeo. <laughs> Stop. This ain't your first rodeo, babe. So we're going to get the nine loaded up. And then after she gets a little comfort holding the nine, we're going to move on to some clay shooting. And just for that, we brought the 410. It's a little smaller, probably a lot more easier for her to handle. And then if she wants, she can move up to old Big Daddy with the tube on. I actually did change the choke to, to a modified. I believe that's an extended modified. So, spread will be a little more open, so it'll be a little easier for her to hit the clays. What are you trying to say? Well, I'm just saying that you don't do it all the time, and I want to help you win. You know, you not win, but... Hit anything? No, I know you'll be able to hit stuff. Oh, okay. I just want to help you make it a little easier. Okay, I feel like you're really close to me. <laughs> I'm not, look. Yeah. I thought it is hard. Yeah, it is hard. I'm telling you, the farther you get, the harder it gets. Is that enough? No, you need to fill it up, babe. Okay. <laughs> She's like, it's that enough. <laughs> you're going to go through a whole round, hon. I'm not a pansy. You're not a pansy. Pretty much. You're an old country girl. We know it. Yeah. <laughs> I 
All right, so the wife, she's a little freaked out by it. She hasn't shot a pistol in a while. We got her loaded up. We're just going to show her kind of how it goes because, again, it's new to her. Ready, babe? So firm grip. Boom, mm -hmm. like this. Finger okay. off the trigger until you're ready to go. You're going to not lock your elbows out, but just straight out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Big, wide stance. Get comfortable and steady. Make sure you have a steady foundation. Oh, my God. <laughs> is it loud? Yeah. <laughs> you went, ooh, 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 Bob, what's that? <laughs> Honey, come on. Well, that's probably what I ought to be doing most of the time, to be honest with you. That's loud. <laughs> it is loud. Your eyes are watering? Yeah, that's loud. <laughs> Poor thing. Jeez. All right, here you go. Ready? You ready? I'm going to go through them. All right. You good now? You're going to go through all of them? Well, yeah, just what's left. You got to prepare me. What are you aiming slides, for? See when it slides all the way back, it's that means it's out. Okay. All right, firm grip. Firm grip. Hold on, don't put your finger on there yet, babe. You got your firm grip. Does that? This cannot be in the way of that slide. That will. That is going to come all the way back, oh. and it will mess up the top of your thumb. All right, that looks way better. Now, when this comes back, it's not going to hit your hand. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got a firm hold on the bottom. Yeah. All right, you're good to go. Go ahead. Are you aiming? Now hold on a minute. Yeah. Are you putting? Are you? Yeah. Putting this in there? You weren't. You were aiming way up there. Oh, okay. See where the dots are? Yeah. Aim them up and aim for that. Line them all up and aim for that piece of wood there. You know what I mean? What? Good job. Now that, what? that wasn't too bad, was it? I'm like shaking. <laughs> Now it's empty. You're completely empty. Now what do I do? You go sit it down and push a clip out of it. Push a button. The clip will fall out. There you go. Oh, well, that was good. What'd you think? Good? Comfortable-ish? After the first one or two. Yeah. yeah, we'll keep shooting it here, but she's got the gist of it. We'll probably run her through a, a couple... We'll probably run her through a couple more mags, mags worth here, but... Um, I know a lot of a lot of you on the last video that I did the pistol shoot. I think I was saying clip, and all of you were like, "They're not clips. They're mags. They're magazines." And I'm like, "Oh my goodness, it's so critical." But okay, moving on. Let's go ahead and move to the 410. What do you think about that? It's it's a very small gun. It's a very light kicking gun. It's a lot less intimidating than the pistol. I will tell you that. You think so? Oh, I know so. Okay. All right, now we're moving on to the 410. What we got here is the pump model uh, Mossberg 500 410. It's a very light kicking gun. Go ahead, babe. Got to push that forward off safety. There you go. Firm hold up against your shoulder. No, baby. Seat that in there and bring your head down to where you need to line up both deals. I know, but you'll get used to it. You got to shoot it more. The more you shoot it, the more comfy you'll get. Just don't lean, weird. don't lean back. You're <laughs> leaning back. Well, that's how I feel like I have to see. All right, go for it. Shoot it a couple times. You'll get comfortable. Oh my God! It's not that bad. <laughs> Bugs getting your pretty legs or what? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta cock it. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Go ahead. Cock it. Go. <laughs> What do you think about the shotgun, the 410? Intimidating. It's worse than the pistol? Yeah. Really? It just feels awkward to me. I'm like... Yeah, it's kind of an awkward hold compared to the pistol. Yeah. And I'm probably just used to holding a shotgun so often that I'm like, no, nah, just, like, do, just do it this way. I'm like cranking my neck. Yeah, right. we'll get you there. Do you want to try the, the 12-gauge or hold off on the 12-gauge? Is it? Yeah, probably not. Okay, let, let's just move forward with the 410 pump. And we're going to try to shoot some clays. All right, we took, what, like two or three practice goes, and she hit it on her third one. We so here we go, babe. 
Get ready. Take her off safety. You ready? Yeah. Oh, close. I could tell it was close. All right. You ready to try her again? Yep. Ready? Tell me when to go. Go. Oh, same deal. It was close. Third time's a charm. All right. Third time. You ready? Tell me when. Yes. Nice. Oh. Third time again, babe. Good shooting. I'm Thank proud you. of you. <laughs> Seriously, both times, third time. It's like you're just bad. You, but, <laughs> blah, blah. I don't even know what I'm talking about. All right. Go ahead. Ready? Yep. Oh. <laughs> it came Excited. out in pieces. Alright. Ready? Yep. Dang. So, the key is, don't just pull up and pull the trigger. If it doesn't take, it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get lined up on it. Let it keep going. You know what I mean? It's not all about shooting it really close. Don't pull the trigger until you're comfortable where your shot is. It's all about learning how to follow. Yeah. Follow your target. Want to try the 12 gauge? No, I'll try this one again. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Tell me when. When? <laughs> it hit the tree. <laughs> I told you it was going to go a little more that way. Ready? Off safety? Yeah. Okay, ready? To getting the lining up the two beads right yeah. once you once you figure it out it's all downhill from there good job that's awesome babe Thanks. ready yeah oh that was close i could tell yeah ready See, the more you do it, I mean, the easier it just keeps getting. Yeah. Ready? You got one in there? I think so. Should. Ready? Yep. Nice. Woo! That's three for three right there. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. Now, guys, as she's done three in a row. You got to give her a big old thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button. For not your boy, but for your girl. <laughs> Ready, babe? You should have one in there. Good? Yep. Oh, oh I tricked you. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know I how many she had. I didn't feel like there was. <laughs> there you go. Ready? We took a break from shooting. If we would have just kept rolling, you probably would have kept hitting us. Whenever you take a break like that. Ready? Yep. Nice. See? Got it? It's literally, you just got to get back in your groove. You know what I mean? It's all getting yourself in that groove. Ready? Yep. Nice. Yes. There you go. Keep going. You should have two, two more shots. Ready? It's okay to wait. That's the Did thing. Did I get it? No. Uh, I don't think no, but it's okay to wait because you want to wait to pull that trigger up until you're like, oh, boo. You know, yeah. when everything falls in place, you'll always miss when you get in a hurry. You know what I mean? Ready? Yep. Nice. I felt that one. Yeah. You know you got it. You know when you go to pull that trigger, you you're know like, yep. you got it when you yeah. got it. You know. Is that uh, all should of them be it. Push this, that button right here. See that one? And pull that. Woo! She did darn good! I mean, that's a pretty good average. I don't know what percentage you missed and hit, but you did really good. Thanks. You can take your uh, muffs off now if you'd like. You're probably sweating. <gasps> yeah. Sweating. Sweating. I feel it, like I've been yelling this whole time. You probably, well, you've been talking a little <laughs> monotone, you actually. I'm like, what? It is hot out. What is it, like 80? Yeah. 
and no wind and we're in the trees. We need to go look for some morel mushrooms real quick. Back in the sticks. Oh, yeah, you might end up with a little bit of poison ivy action. Yeah. Want to shoot the 12 gauge once? Just shoot it once to see how it feels. Got a bad wrist. You have a bad wrist, you can't? <laughs> <laughs> what else okay. is bad where you can't? My left knee. Your left knee? Yeah. Yeah. All right, here she is. This is, this is, the, this is my baby. You got to be nice to old Franky girl here. Okay, this is my second girl. Oh, okay. It's like you're supposed to tell her to be nice to me. <laughs> I'm over here trying to pump it. Put light shot in for you. Right. I'm gonna start wearing these around the house. You are? Why, so you don't gotta listen to me squawk? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I figured that's why. Let's load her up here. We got Yay. the tube on. Look, one, two, three, four. I should hold eight. I'm Six, terrified of this thing. Seven. Why? It's huge. No, it's this nice. little guy. This it's is good. like my kind of thing. All right. Put your dills back on. It's the same thing. It's just it's, heavy. it's a bigger gun now and it's going to kick, obviously. All right. You know, so make sure you have it squared up against your shoulder. Good. You can hold it back here. There's no pumping. So okay. you don't have to be like this. You know what I mean? What hold it comfortable. Like? Only just a little bit. <laughs> It's ready to go. This is your now. This is your safety here now. So fire safety. So this is on safety right now. It's on safety right there. When you All push right. it in the other way, it's ready to fire. Okay. Get up there and do her. <laughs> Don't be intimidated. Being okay. scared of a being scared of a gun is the worst thing anybody could ever do. That's where people get hurt. Well, be confident. Own it. I'm telling you how to do it right. Take her off safety. I know, I'm just feeling her out here. <laughs> How do I look? You look great, babe. Okay. You always look great. There I'm you go. The yep, just hold it tight against your shoulder where, and you'll be good. Shooting? Just shoot it, honey. Come oh on. Oh my god. Don't be scared of it. That's the worst thing you can do. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> There's no pump in it. It's already ready to go oh, again. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> so look, you're leaning back. Your posture is really bad. Look, you need to you need to lean in forward, you know, lean into it a little more. You leaning back is not going to help. Me. Yeah, it's not going to help the situation. Yeah, you're still kind of leaning back there. <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> there you go. Just stand up there. That's a little better. You see, with but your shoulders know. already back here, so it's going to knock you back even. So you need to push your sho shoulder forward, baby. <laughs> I know it's it's probably too big of a gun it's for you heavy. to really be. Yeah, right. it's a little large. That's better? Yep, that's good. Go ahead, honey. You just got to get used to it. Oh, <laughs> Those are light loads, honey. <laughs> it is so heavy. You, are you done? Yeah. Okay. Well, I knew it would be a little much for her, and that's fine. There's no reason why she needs to man the old 12 gauge. The 410 is plenty, so this is what I wanted to get her to, to where we can go out you know, go out to the field and we can shoot clays together. She can run the old 410. I can run the old 12 gauge. But this is, I'm not, I'm not trying to like be big and cool here. But I'd love to see you. I really do want to film you one time. Shoulder this puppy and just rack them all. Just rack all eight out. Is that a dare right now? Yeah, I'll do it first. I'll show you how to do it. But that's kind of kind, kind of going to be the end of the video for you. You have to just, ba -ba 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 you can't take a break. All right. So it's, it's steady hold, firm hold. See how wide I am? You yeah. I mean? Get big, get strong, and... God. <laughs> it's, it'll get your adrenaline going. You got to do it. It's going to knock you on your, you know what? It probably you gotta will. You got to do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've never experienced freedom if you just never rang out a whole tube of shells out of a 12-gauge, babe. Come on. You got to do it. You want to try it? Yeah. All right. Whew. So, like I was saying, the main purpose is to get her acquainted with the guns in the house. One primary reason being, if I'm not home, you guys know me, I travel a lot, and, and, and I do a lot of traveling, hunting and stuff, she needs to be able to protect the house if something were to go down. And just like she said, being out here and squeezing the trigger more and more and more gives you more confidence just to have confidence in yourself when I'm gone. Yeah. Because there's been a lot of times she's she's... We're married for a reason. I don't like being alone, and she darn sure don't like being alone. There's been a lot of years that she's been scared with me not being home, and it's been in the back of her mind. She's like, 
If something were to happen, can I protect myself and the kids with a gun? Do I know how to operate the gun correctly? So, again, this video is just like all the other shotgun safety videos we do here. It shows safety. It shows repetitive. It shows building muscle memory with a gun. It just, all in all, you're improving your confidence with the weapon. And that's what we're here to do today. Proud of you, honey. Now are you going to squeeze all eight off? I'm going to try. You don't have to be real fast. Just knock them off of there. Just right. act like act like someone's coming through the back door to get your babies and you got to be big mama and just, you know, you got to do your thing. All right. <laughs> now you got me fired up. You got you fired up now? Mm -hmm. You're going you're gonna to handle your business? Yep. Are you off of safety? There you go. Don't be scared of it. Don't stop. Just hold her tight. Hold her tight against your shoulder. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> you went all in. I wasn't ready for you to just start. I know. Do you see her face played in slow motion right now? No, no. <laughs> I guarantee you the slow motion's probably slow just mo beautiful. <laughs> Good job, babe. Thanks. You guys got to give her a big old thumb. Oh, we're here. Yep. <laughs> you guys got to give her a big old, a big old thumbs up. She, she absolutely, she killed it. She did a lot better than I thought she was going to do today. And I'm not down talking you. No, I just figured you wouldn't build the confidence in the weapon so soon, honestly. Yeah. She's always been scared of the guns. Whenever I have them in the house or walking through the house from the truck to the safe, she's like, Bob, Bob. Ah! So that's why we're out here. Build her confidence and, and show you yeah. that guns can be safe all the time. They can always be safe. Yeah. It's all about the human that handles them. That's the main thing. Like if you don't do it enough or do it often, then you don't feel confident in yourself handling the gun. Right. It's not that the gun I feel unsafe with. It's myself and being not educated in it. Right. And I'm sure a ton of you are like, Bobby, how long have you had the channel? How? I mean, really, you haven't taken her shooting more? Guys, if you only, yeah, she, she's never had any interest really up until now because we got a little more downtime. She's, she's actually in the latter parts of, of her schooling. She's in her eighth year and she's in her clinicals. So she's a, like so long. eight years. Yeah, it's been forever that she's been in school and, and we've been doing this whole school thing, but we've never had a lot of time to come out here. Ready, babe? Yep. All right. Yeah. Oh, you gotta show off for the girls, you know. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is like the most humid day we've had in a long time. We had to, we had to get out of there. The shooting area is literally just a little open spot surrounded by woods, and so when there's no wind already, it gets humid fast. But babe, yeah. thanks for coming today. Yeah, I'm glad we, I'm, I'm glad we we did this, especially. For you, for 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 your sake of handling the guns in the house, or just or just being you know more confident handling those guns. When you're a mom uh, and you're home alone, you know sometimes you need to be able to man a gun. I mean, not man a gun, woman a gun. You got to be able to woman a gun. Woman it, yep. <laughs> but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video with me and Beth. You guys have requested. Her on, her on the videos, I mean a ton. She's she's fabulous to have on the videos. Thanks, babe. Yes. But we're going to go get some lunch and cool off because we're sweating bullets out here. Thank you guys for being here. You guys need to subscribe and hit that little notification bell down there. You know how it goes. It notifies you when we upload. So if you guys want to see more videos with the wifey, you got to let me know down in the comments down below. And if you guys want to pick up any of that Ducks merch, like Boo's shirt there, or my slick hat. I'll link them all down in the description below. But again, thanks to y'all for being here. We will see you on the next one. Peace.